drama and emotion in Inneken, Italy. Round number five of the FIS Ski Cross World Cup Tour, a double header here in Inneken, and the snow had returned to the mountains. Tricky conditions, soft snow, and the course was running a little slower. Naisland in the red bib got her trademark fast start ahead of Berger Sabatel, who's made every single final this season. 16 Cousin and Talina Gant to bind the Swiss challengers, and it was 16 Cousin in the yellow bib who got past the Frenchwoman and up into second. At this stage of the race, Naisland well clear, out in front, and it was looking like another victory. But a huge moment of drama towards the bottom of the course. Naisland with a big advantage, crossing her skis and out of the course. A shock for the Swede who won yesterday. In the end, it was 16 Cousin from Switzerland who came through to take her first win. Marielle berger Sabatel getting her fourth podium in five races. What a day for the youngster, 16 Cousin. Well, I tried to convince myself today was the day, and looks like it was. I had a bit of luck, but I think it was pretty solid, and I fight until the end every run. And boy, it's a bit surreal, but it's like that. I think on my FIS uh, description now, it's going to be one World Cup victory. <laughs> First win in the career of 16 Cousin. She needed a bit of luck, but she was strong all race long. First time any of these men have been in a big final this season. The two Germans, Wilmsman and Bronek, up against Elliot Barolo in a final for the first time in his career, and Terence Chignavorian from France. Chignavorian got the early lead, and he was pushed hard by Tim Bronek from Germany. In a tight race, in ever worsening conditions, the Frenchman really trying to stamp his authority on the Hornold track. At the halfway point, it was all in favour of Terence Chignavorian. Kronak throwing everything he could to stay in touch with the Frenchman. There was a big battle between Wilmsman and Barolo for the final spot on the podium. Over the final jump and final turn, and it was Terence Chignavorian just holding off Tim Kronak. Florian Wilmsman in third, and Elliot Barolo in his first final finishes in fourth. Fantastic performance from Terence Chignavorian from France. It's a very difficult race for me. I'm not really in confidence with my balance and everything, and I did good starts every year today, and I keep, keep my speed all, all the course long, and I'm pretty happy to win here, especially. Third win in the career of Terence Chignavorian. He hadn't been on the podium in over a year. The Ski Cross World Cup Tour now takes a little bit of a break. It's back on the 20th of January in Makiska, Canada. Download the new FIS app for more from the Ski Cross World Cup.